Welcome back. In this video, we will be exploring how we can keep our user logged in even after the app is being closed. Currently, we don't have this functionality from the code we have developed in the previous video. If you don't know how to log in and sign up user with Flutter and Firebase, I have put a link in the description of my video. You can go there and watch the video and please make sure you subscribe, share and like my channel. So now coming back to the main content, what we need to do is that if I uh, log in a user now in the uh, app that we have created in the previous video well, let's put the credentials here and log in so our user is logged in and we have been navigated to the home screen but if i restart my app the user state is not saved and we come back to the login screen again we don't need this we need to keep our user logged in unless he himself logs out so we need to uh, develop this functionality um, and also uh, we need to uh, dis disable this uh, manual navigation to home when the user is logged in and similarly for uh, sign up as well and in the home screen we also do this manual navigation when our user is signed out so for that what we will do we have this pubspec.yml file here we have installed this firebase auth dependency uh, using this firebase auth dependency we can achieve our purpose of keeping our user logged in so for that what i will do uh, here in the lib folder i will create a file known as uh, wrapper dot dot here it basically wraps our application it is a widget that wraps our application here it will return a scaffold and in the body of scaffold i will be using stream builder the stream builder uh, takes a stream we will use the stream from the firebase auth plugin which is firebase auth dot instance dot auth state changes we will use this stream let's remove cons from here what this stream does this stream basically returns a value of user nullable uh, whenever the user is logged in this user is not null and whenever uh, the user is signed out so the null is returned here in the user so uh, based on these values we can uh, put our logic for login and sign up so we can control our navigation from here whenever our user logs in or logs out so we get a snapshot of value for the user from here so based on that value we can put our logic for login and sign out so here what I will do uh, I have this snapshot returned from the uh, stream of user given by Firebase auth and based on this snapshot what I will do I will put some checks like if the snapshot dot connection state equals to connection state dot waiting which means that the data is not being fetched yet but they are trying to our network is trying to fetch the data so here what I will uh, return is that center child and will put a circular progress indicator to show that uh, the data uh, is being fetched or it's in progress uh, so that's how we handle it and then else if uh, the snapshot dot has error which means something if something went wrong so what we will do we'll be returning center and here we will put a text for intimating that something has uh, went wrong or there is some error and then in the else part when we will have proper data returned so here now we will handle our logic for uh, our logic when our user logs in or sign out so this logic will be uh, applied so uh, let's uh, let's show you how to use this logic if the snapshot dot data which is a nullable user uh, uh, it is uh, equals to null which means the user is currently not logged in but signed out so uh, here what we will do I will return the login screen because the user is signed out currently because the data is being returned null and uh, else uh, if the snapshot data not equals to null which means we have our user logged in so what we will do we will go to the home screen and that's the logic for our uh, wrapper here uh, in the main screen currently we are moving directly to the login screen here what we will do we will put this wrapper so when the app starts it will go to the wrapper screen and from the wrapper screen uh, uh, we will listen to auth states authentication states for the user if the user uh, returned here is uh, not equals to null so we will go to the home screen if it returns 
uh, null which means the user is not logged in so we will go to the logged in screen but if you remember we logged in our user and then we refreshed our app so our user was logged in but we didn't handle that state persistence logic so that uh, we were still uh, going to the login screen but now our user will be here unless and until we signs out from here but uh, with this we also need to remove this manual uh, uh, navigation logic because we don't need it anymore and that whole navigation is being done in the wrapper so let's remove these from these screens we don't need to check it here now also we do need to store this user as well here and i will remove this uh, uh, go to home go to sign up will not be removed because it's been used here in the login screen let's remove this uh, uh, warnings and now in the sign up screen i will also remove this logic we don't need it now and also remove this user variable from here and this warning as well <clears throat> now if i refresh our app so we have implemented uh, uh, user persistence logic so uh, let's sign out and see what happens yes we have removed the manual navigation logic and still we are coming back to the login screen so uh, let me log in a user here i will put khan at email.com and i will put khan1234 here now i will log in and when I restart my app, so it will fetch the data from the stream and it sees that the user is already logged in. So it directly navigates to the uh, home screen because our user is already logged in. Okay. But if I sign out and then I check uh, again, uh, restart the app, then our user is not logged in and the data returned in the wrapper is null. Here, the stream returns this null value. So we go to this login screen. So that's how we persist the state of our user uh, with Firebase authentication. Oh, we have missed one thing and that is here in the sign up screen. Here, after we sign up a user, we will use this navigator.pop. It is because in the wrapper, we have the home screen and login screen. Here, whenever the user state changes, uh, we will either move to a login screen or home screen. We don't have a sign up screen here and we move to the sign up screen from the login screen. Here we have this logic go to sign up. So uh, we need to come back to this login screen in, other, in order for our functionality to work and move from sign up screen to the uh, home screen. So now if we test here, we move to the sign up screen and here if I create another user by the name Harris and give it a name Harris12 at email.com and then Harris triple one. So if I sign up, it will come back to the login, but here in the login, uh, it will come back to a login screen. But here in the wrapper, we have uh, the user created and he is being logged in because user is automatically logged in when it is created for the first time. So when it comes back to the login screen here from the wrapper, the state updates and he goes to the home screen. So from sign up, he comes back to the login from login. He goes to the home screen. That's how it works. But if we remove this thing, so the sign up won't work and it will stuck on the same sign up page because it is another page over the login screen. So we need to remove this first in order for a wrapper to work. Uh, so that's how uh, we manage user, user state. And one more thing we need to add here in the auth service, we have some error codes returned by Firebase in case something went wrong. So uh, we will also handle these using the uh, exceptional handler function. So we will use this exception handler uh, method. And what it takes, it takes a string, which is an error code and we will use this error code to show different messages to the user in case something went wrong so what we will do we will use a switch we will pass this code in the switch and we will handle different cases for different conditions and error codes the first error code is for invalid credentials whenever user enters some uh, invalid credentials during login so this uh, error code is returned so we will intimate the user that uh, um, your login credentials our uh, credentials are invalid so the user easily understands what went wrong so here we will add two other cases these are some of the common cases we need to handle there are also some other cases that you can look for yourself i put a link in the description you can go there and uh, explore the other as well but i will use these common and here we will also use our default block 
in case we have an other error code returned that doesn't lie in this three that we are handling so we will uh, show some random message in that case for weak password uh, uh, we can intimate that uh, your password must be at least eight characters so that's an intimation for password similarly here for email already in use uh, it is used when we uh, you try to sign up using an email that already exists in the users so uh, here we can intimate that user already exists so uh, this is used in a sign up and uh, this is also used in a sign up flow this uh, weak password and for annual creation that is used in a login so the, we have handled some common uh, auth exceptions for firebase in the default what we will print is uh, something went wrong when uh, any of these cases uh, matches so we have some prompt for them but uh, for some exception we can throw some random error that is something went wrong that will help and we have implemented our exception handler now we need to use it in the proper place here in the try catch block <clears throat> in case we uh, we have firebase auth exception received we can catch that exception and we can take the code from this exception and pass it in the exception handler we will pass the code from here and it will take the code and map it to the required uh, string message error message that we want to display to the user and our exception has been handled similarly we will use it on the uh, login as well so here add this in the login as well for sign out we don't need to add this so that's how we handle different uh, authentication exceptions returned from firebase now if i sign out and try out these uh, invalid credentials and other scenarios so i will add a random email and some random password at, in order to check the exception handling so here you can see your login credentials are invalid so we get the intimation to correct our credentials similarly for sign up let's go to the sign up and here uh, let's create a user that will be safe and uh, i will use an email safe at email.com but i will use a weak password here which is one two three four uh, it is not enough so it should throw me the error your password must be at least add characters and it came back to the login screen because of the functionality we have implemented there and similarly we can also use uh, an existing email in the sign up flow to check whether the error message shown or not uh, in case of any exception other than these three this message will be shown that's how you keep your user logged in and also you handle firebase authentication exceptions that's it for today video see you in the next video goodbye